guys. Welcome back to a brand new video. It's Els. Today I will be showing you guys how to make a Windows 10 uh, USB installation drive on a Mac. So basically, if you are building a new computer and you plan on installing Windows, one of the ways you can do it is by creating an installation key on a USB drive. However, all the methods online do it from a separate Windows computer. Now, that won't work for me or maybe for you because I'm on a Mac and the software normal the you usually download is an EXE file and that wouldn't work because you can't open that on Mac. However, you can still create the uh, installation drive on a Mac. So I will be showing you guys how to do that. So first things first, you want to open your browser and click the link in the description of this video. It'll take you to something like this. So you want to select the Windows version you will use. I will use default Windows 10. Just click confirm. Then for the language, I'm going to choose English. Click confirm. Okay, and here it will give you some download links. So click the 64-bit if that's what you are getting. And then click save. So it'll save right here. Next, you want to insert a flash drive. Now, you will need at least 4 or 8 gigabytes free. Now, I do warn you, once you uh, move on with this uh, tutorial, it actually deletes everything on the flash drive. So what you should do is take whatever's in that flash drive and drag it off to your desktop or somewhere else for just so it's not deleted because anything on this is cleared like it is wiped clean so just make sure you have everything on your flash drive backed up or you can put it on later once you've installed windows so this is going to download and i'm just going to speed this part up real quick for you guys yeah baby girl you're so damn fine no wanna know if i can hit it from behind though i'm sipping on you like some fun wine though when it's over i press for wine though talking bands i got it Benjamin's in my pocket. I trade in my truth for some robbers, and he's playing Batman. Freddy's gonna rob him. Yeah, I got the Glock in my. All right, so finally it is done. There is no more downloading. It should be yeah. So it's an ISO file. So once that is done, it should be on your desktop. And uh, don't open it or anything. Just keep it there, and uh, make sure you have your flash drive inserted. Next, you want to go to your launch pad or your finder and search up boot and open boot camp assistant. This should be pre-installed on every Mac. Then you just want to click continue. And you want to uncheck the last two and check the first two. And then this will be create a Windows 7 or later version install disk. You need a USB flash drive and a Windows or later version ISO image downloaded from Microsoft. So this is the ISO and this is the uh, flash drive. So it should auto automatically detect where the ISO image is, which is right here, my desktop. And then it should detect what flash drive is in. I'm using a Lexer 64 gig gigabyte flash drive. So click continue and uh, the data will be lost after it is formatted. So just, yep, drive will be erased. Just make sure it's clean and click continue. So this will format a Windows 7 or later, this will be Windows 10 since it's a Windows 10 ISO file, but a Windows 10 installation. So just let this load and once it's done, you should be all right. Alright, so you should get a pop-up like this asking for your credentials. Just type in your administrator's password and click unlock. Alright, so it has currently been created. That only took a couple minutes. If you think it's frozen, just let it go. Maybe go downstairs, do something. It is not frozen. It just takes a while depending on what computer you have. So it says your bootable USB drive has been created. You can just click quit and that will quit. So if you know it will work, it should be named win install or windows install 
and you should have uh, about eight different uh, icons in there. So if the one's missing, then maybe it didn't need it. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so all you got to do now is plug it into your computer. Well, that's for another tutorial. Just uh, either I'll make it or someone else will have one on the internet. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to like and subscribe. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.